Good morning, y'all. I woke up looking like this. Like what? This is so bad. So, I just put Avery in her car seat. I just got Paige in the car and we're headed to urgent care because, yeah. waiting for the doctor to come in but it could be pink eye it could be like expired makeup or a sty or allergies i just i don't know but it's definitely uncomfortable it's not painful but uncomfortable all right the doctor thinks it's pink eye he said it could be something like he's like i don't think it's allergies because typically if it's allergies then it's in both eyes and mine's just in one eye he said it could be like um, inspired makeup or something like that, but he thinks it might be pink eye. I don't know. I was looking at pink eye like pictures and my eye's not very pink. I don't know, maybe it is. It's hard to tell because I put my glasses on, but I was hoping they'd make me look a little, <laughs> a little more normal. My like looks so cattywampus, I don't even know. But anyways, he thinks it's pink eye, so he just called in the pink eye prescription. And he said once I'm on that antibiotic for 24 hours, then I'm no longer contagious. And I always thought pink eye was a bigger deal. Like I thought that you'd be really sick and miserable, but like obviously I'm uncomfortable because my eyes swollen as crap, but I'm not in a lot of pain and I'm not feeling like super sick or anything. So I'm like, he's like, even if your girls get it or if anyone else in the family gets it, then to just use the same ointment. Cause he's like, it's a topical ointment. So it's same dose for everyone. But he's like, just use that on them. So at least I know if they do get it, we'll be able to take care of it. And then, yeah, I'm going to pick that up right now because it's the day before the 4th of July and obviously I want to be able to like go out for the 4th of July and take the girls to the parade and like have a barbecue with my family and stuff. And I, But I don't want to make people uncomfortable. So I'm going to go get on my antibiotic right now so that it's not a worry for tomorrow. It's still like 10 a.m. So I will have been on it for 24 hours by tomorrow. Anyways, that's the update on that. I just am like, how, I don't even know how I got pink eye. Like I don't, I don't know how you pick it up or like I know you can pick it up from other people but I haven't been around anyone with pink eye. So I don't know, Garrett said something about maybe I touch my eye yes. after changing her diaper or something. But I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's a myth either. But anyways, we are going to pick up my antibiotic and then probably go over to my parents' house because Garrett's at home sleeping and if I'm gonna be in town, might as well hang out. All right, I got the goods, but we're at my parents' house now because this one gets to have her stitches out today. She already had one fall out, and, or she took it out, I don't know, but it's missing, but she needs the other one out now too. You just have one now, huh? Did the other one fall out at the birthday party yesterday? Huh? Okay. That's the one that I... <laughs> Are you getting your stitches out? You're doing so good, sis. Oh yeah. I have a little pinch. That's okay, baby. You're okay. You're okay. Can you lay your head back and look up some more? <laughs> Is that your pig? Silly pig. Where'd you get him? We got him at Walmart. She begged me for him. And she did really good, so she got to keep it. We did ears. Ow. Ow. Sorry. That it's okay. Little, it's it's okay, okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. Ooh, are you getting glued? It's okay, babe. It's okay. okay. 30 seconds. Let's let it dry. Did you get your stitches out? Yeah. You did so good. She started crying a little bit because the skin grew over one of the stitches, so we had to like cut it a little bit, but we cut the knots out and then pulled them out, and she's fine now. Huh? Are you tough? She's like, no, but we put some glue on it too, so hopefully it'll stay together. Paigey, I love you. <laughs> You're such a turd. I put my eye drops in too. My eyes are still looking wonky, but I got my eye drops in and it was fine. So I just hope the girls don't get it, but the doctor did say that, or the pharmacist did say that if either of the girls get it, I could just do the drops in their eyes the same way and they'll be okay, so. 
All right, you guys, we left my mom's. I look so cracked out. My eye is, Mom. hold on, still all sorts of jacked to crack. <coughs> Children are a blessing. Paige, what's wrong? Okay. This one's been on one. Anyways, it's so hard not to touch it because it itches. But um, obviously, like as a grown adult, I know better than to touch it. And I've been germexing and washing my hands like every 20 minutes because I really, really don't want the kids to get it. You get it. Oh. Well, we made it home, and I'm doing some Fourth of July prep since tomorrow is the Fourth of July. But I just put this in the oven. It's sugar cookie. Um, like just sugar cookie dough and then I flatten it out with a spatula so that it all is like together if that makes sense like I mush it all together with a spatula pro tip just take one of these like rubber spatulas this one's covered in this right now but take it and then spray it with like olive oil spray and then flatten it out so that it doesn't stick to the spatula Avery's right here bless you <laughs> but I'm baking that until it's like golden on the outsides and then I just whipped together some cream cheese and Cool Whip. I just whipped it up in my KitchenAid mixer with the whisk attachment and then I'll probably just pull that out let it cool off for a bit and then spread that all over it and then I'll add the fruit. I'll show you guys a picture of what it's supposed to look like. I've been washing my hands non-stop, so I don't like want to get anyone else sick, obviously, and then uh, I'm taking my antibiotics. But yeah, we're home now. I have Avery because she does not want to sleep. She's so tired, but she's refusing to sleep. All right, y'all, quick interruption in today's video. Um, this video is actually in collaboration with BagSmart, and I'm so excited because they sent me one of their bags, and I've been using it for a couple weeks now, actually, and I love it. It's So the one that I got, I will leave the name of it here, but uh, it's so versatile. I've been using it for like the gym, yoga, and then I'm actually packing it right now because when we go to my mom's house for the 4th of July, we're going to be staying the night there. So I'm just going to be using it as like a quick overnight bag. It's the perfect size. Also, the color is to die for. Like I feel like it's you guys know like I love soft pinks if you've been on my like YouTube page at all you know like I love a soft pink color so anyways the material I don't even know how to explain it I was talking to my husband about it because I was like it's such a cool material but like I don't know how to explain it. I would say like it's a lot like a coat like a winter coat so it's water resistant water will like beat off of it if you're like out at the pool or you just take it out and it gets a little bit wet um same thing with like dirt. You'd be able to brush dirt off of it super easily. They have like two convenient side pockets. So for like the gym and stuff, it's, you could just throw your water bottle in here. These button down. So like if you want it to be like smaller or bigger, like right now I have it pretty full because I have all the girls stuff and my stuff in there. But so I undid it, but you can like tuck it in there and button it. And there's, but, or there's um, pockets on both sides. So you can even like throw your keys in there when you're going to the gym. Right now I have my medication for my pink eye inside pocket because I need easy access because I have to use it four times a day. So I just figured it'd be great to throw it in for easy access. There's also an easy access zip pocket in the back which I love so that would be perfect for like a wallet or something if you're in the gym or if you're taking it to the pool or something like that. And then there's another easy access pocket on the back. I have Paige's swimsuit in there right now because I know as soon as we get to my mom's house she's going to want to put on her swimsuit and go in the pool because they have that all set up. And another really cool thing about these two side pockets is there's a yoga mat strap. So like I said, I've been using it for yoga and you can wrap your yoga mat with this and then put it on top so that your yoga mat's strapped down. I'll show you guys a picture, but you guys can kind of see like how you can just strap your yoga mat down. So if you're taking it to yoga, that's super convenient. I really want to get back into going to the gym more often. I'm not quite there yet. And I think a huge part of that is the fact that my daycare doesn't take kids until they're six months. So it's really hard for me to get like all the way to the gym. So anyways, super cute straps on the top, really heavy duty so they're not gonna like break on you. And then there's a cute little button that kind of like keeps them buttoned um, together so that they're easy to grab. Um, another really cool feature that I like about this 
I don't know if you guys can see, but it has the plastic zippers, which I feel like those are way more in right now. I think they zip up, like, I feel like they just zip so much easier. They look cuter. Like, I've noticed a lot of Lululemon stuff is like the plastic zippers now. And I really like it. So the bag is absolutely humongous. You can fit so much stuff in here. There is a pocket, a padded pocket for a laptop or a tablet or something along those lines. I do have my laptop in here. I also have a case for my laptop. So it's in the case because I also need the charger and like my adapters and stuff for like my um, SD cards and whatnot. But you don't even need that because the pocket is padded so it will protect. Um, <laughs> I threw my phone and watch charger in here on top. Normally I bring a different one but I didn't feel like looking for it. There's two little side pockets here. Um, so for me, it's perfect that I can shove diapers in there, wipes in there, and then I just have my brush in the other one. There's also two side pockets. Like, there's so many pockets, which is so convenient. But you can throw, like, water bottles or, like, just to try and keep more organized. So there's also a zipper pocket in here. Once again, if you are, like, in a gym or something and you are leaving your bag out of, your, out of sight... Or same thing with like the pool or something along those lines. These would be a perfect pocket to like shove your wallet in. Because it's inside the bag and it's zipped. Um, another thing that would be really good to throw in there is like pads, tampons. It's just nice to have those like right where you know they're at. Especially when you're going to the gym. And then there's just the main pocket. So like that's where I shoved all the girls clothes and stuff. I'm not going to show you guys everything that's in here. Because obviously I have like my bras, underwear, stuff like that. Nothing exciting. But this is like the perfect bag for gym, overnight, duffel bag, like pool bag, even just like a bag. Like I love to have an extra bag in my car that has like a change of clothes for me, a change of clothes for the kids, extra diapers, wipes, because spit up happens, throw up happens, blowouts happen. So this bag is like the perfect size for any of those things. And it's so cute, super high quality. Bag Smart's mission is to make bags smarter. And they really did that with this bag. Like I feel like there's so many pockets. It's super well organized. I love the quality and the material. Like it's just 10 out of 10 would recommend. So they have a huge variety of bags. They have like travel bags, the bathroom bags that like hang on the hooks. I'll insert a little video here like of me screen recording their website so you can kind of get an idea of all the different bags they have. Their camera bags are what they're super known for. So if you have a, like a quality camera that you want to have a quality bag for so that you can put all your lenses and have it like super safe, go check out their camera bags because they're amazing. But just like so many, even like jewelry organizer bags, so many like convenient things. So go check out their website. I will leave a link in the description along with my discount code, which is KD15, and that will save you 15% on any purchase from there. And yeah, I'm super grateful they collabed with me because I was needing a new like duffel bag for like overnight quick overnight trips and stuff like that because we do, we go out of town a ton for just like quick overnight trips or I'll stay the night at my mom's a lot too. So, so glad I have the perfect bag for that. And we can get back to my video now. All right, you guys, per Paige's request, I am now making popcorn. Well, I just made popcorn, making a mess. But she wanted to pop popcorn and watch a movie. So Garrett's working tonight, and I am completely okay with this plan. So it sounds like we're just going to, Paige, shh. Sounds like we're going to eat some popcorn and watch a movie and end our night. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. My eyes still jacked, you guys. Like I'm, I'm over it. Hopefully it'll look better tomorrow. But that's pretty much it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like it's always something with us. Like a couple days ago, it was ER stitches. Well, we don't have to go to the ER, but a couple days ago, she needed stitches. Today, I have pink eye. It's just never ending. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more of our videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Abby says. Bye.